on Steamroller Steen with winnersandwiners.com coming to you with the Steamroller free play of the day. We'd appreciate it if you take a minute while you're watching to smash that like button. Thank you very much. Make sure you get subscribed to our YouTube channels, both the Winners and Winners YouTube channel and the Max Wagers Network YouTube channel. By the way, if you like watching Scott and I live every day at 3 p.m. Eastern, uh, that is going to be available live only on the Max Wagers Network starting next Monday. So make sure that you get subscribed over there. We appreciate it. And of course, we want to know what you're playing today, whatever you got cooked up with those plays in the comment section. You get enough of them right, and uh, you will get a shout out. And uh, if you get more right than anybody else, you're going to be the capper of the day. So there you go. There's incentive for you right there. Um, all right. Taking a quick look at yesterday's action. Uh, the beat goes on, kids. Day off. Recharge. Beep. Didn't help that second half in the 76ers game. Holy shit. You know what? When you're running good, you're running good, guys. They had uh, 119 in the first half. I know the uh, I know there was a live number. And somebody even mentioned this in the comment section. I know the live number was up in the 240 range at one point. Didn't matter. 47 points, third quarter. 43 points in the fourth quarter. 90 points in the second half where we still we did 100 gives us a win. Nope, couldn't get there. That's just, uh, you know what? When you're running good, that's exactly the kind of shit that happens right there sarcasm ended uh as far as the premium plays go we had our first losing day in about nine days as we had uh, philadelphia to cover had utah dallas under and we had tampa bay and uh taking care of business against chicago cubs and they could not do that as the cubs got their win there at wrigley so uh one and two there and uh heartbreaking heartbreaking situation in the uh, Bet the Farm, we had the Hurricanes minus two and a half. They win by two as they had, uh, yeah, they shot, outshot them. Outshot them 52-26. Congratulations, guys. Ugh, holy shit. Anyway, so not an ideal day. One and four we go overall on with today's action. Taking a look at the Minnesota Twins and the Kansas City Royals. We can play the Minnesota Twins team total over three and a half. Going to lay the minus 145. If you wanted to go four and a half, you get plus 115. I just have a little more faith in the in the three and a half. I think the 145 is a decent trade off. Chris Archer goes for the Twins against uh, Carlos Hernandez for the Kansas City Royals. You know, normally, I've talked about this before. I don't pay a lot of attention uh, to spring numbers, but I'll tell you what, Hernandez was absolutely dreadful in the spring. Uh, 12 runs, seven in the third innings pitch. That was three starts, by the way. And his first start of the season, regular season, picked up right where he left off in spring training, gave up uh, four runs, six hits, two bases on balls, one home run in just four innings. To me, we really get two shots at this uh, for the Twins to hit that total. First of all, you get the shot against Hernandez, and then you get the shot against the Royals bullpen, even though they pitched well lately. Uh, I still don't have any confidence in this pen unit at all. They have a second-worst ERA in baseball. They have the third-worst whip. And uh, on top of that, they have a 5.87 ERA at home. Um, if you want to play the over, uh, over eight, wouldn't hate that. Uh, Chris Archer, like I said, had a very good first start, but it's Chris Archer, dude. He really hasn't looked good for five years now. So take that for what it's worth. Uh, I think there is, I think there is a bit of value on the over as well. But I like Minnesota team total even more. Give me the Twins team total over three and a half. We're gonna lay the minus one forty five at the end of that one. You guys can join me as we pick up our winning tickets and head back to the window. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, you guys know how I did yesterday. Let's take a look and see how y'all did, shall we? Stephen the Godfather go down going two and two, but he with plus twenty. Paul Ballard, 1-1, one one, he got juiced. The T-Train going 1-0, oh, plus 6-10, had the San Diego Padres on the run line, plus 122. Brian Gillahan, nice day with some parlays for Brian, 3-2, three plus 358. Max Garcia, 1-0, oh, plus 500. Had the Philadelphia 76ers first, team, first half team total over, 57.5. Well done there. They beat it by 9.5 points. C-Dub, 4-1, plus 290 on the soccer. Ninja 13, 1 0, plus 500, had Dallas plus 5.5. Joshua Chapman going, or Joshua Chipman rather, going 1 0, plus 500. Tobias Harris over 15. Time Traveler goes 1 1. He got you. What just happened? 2 1, plus 90. 
Chino 808, 2 and 1 plus 90. Doc Brown going 3 and 2 plus 80. And Bling 2 for the third day in a row. Can't hate you, brother. You're doing what I do. He goes 1 and 0 plus 500. Yeah, the Toronto Philadelphia under. Mmm, chef's kiss. But your capper of the day, you know him, you love him. He's the pride of Austin, Texas. It's the Bronco Devil going 1 and 0 plus 645. As he did hit that three team money line parlay. Let me make sure that he hit that, by the way. As he had the uh he had the Dodgers on the third leg there. Let me make sure that the Dodgers took care of their business. They were up. Uh, there you go. Yep, stayed seven to four. So there you go. Bronco Devil, what the hell, buddy? Nicely done. One and those plus six forty-five. You, my friend, are the capper of the day. Nicely done, Bronco Devil. Nicely done to the rest of you. A lot of money was made out there. Well done, guys. We're gonna tell you, we're gonna keep banging. We're, uh, you know, we're uh, we're taking a look. I've been uh, up until the up until that. Uh, uh, Utah Dallas game, we uh, hit eight straight NBA plays on the premium side. So uh, <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. This is a uh, this is a weird stretch. We're gonna bust it out and uh, tail if you tail if you must, fade if you will. That's all I can tell you guys. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to check us out every day. Scott and I we do this little thing called Back to the Window with Scott and Scott, three p.m. Eastern, two p.m. Central. We will do our very best to help you guys head back to the. Take care, everybody.